Hi, this is Chris with CodeChris.com, and let's talk about Udemy. Now, Udemy is one of the various options available to you to learn how to code. And this is kind of my review on it. These are just my thoughts. It's not exactly like, oh, it's the best thing ever, or it's like, eh, it's the worst thing ever. It's just another option to you. It's another tool available. And these are sort of how I would characterize Udemy. Udemy, first of all, Udemy has sort of changed uh, a lot as far as the pricing goes. It's been like ridiculously expensive and then they have sales all the time, right? So sometimes like you could uh, see something that costs 200 bucks and then it's like 95% off and you can buy it for like 10, 20 bucks or whatever the case is and you feel like you're getting an amazing deal. And then they changed their, their pricing model for a while and just like everything was 20 bucks. But then like sales, I guess, just modified because it's all psychological, right? And so then they allowed for it again. And anyways, as far as pricing goes, the amount of money you'll have to spend to learn on Udemy, uh, it's very cheap, very cheap. I mean, you can spend uh, 10, 20 bucks on a uh, educational course that's got 40 hours, uh, 60, 80 hours worth of content, and it's on a specific skill. Right, and that's that's really nice. That's actually one of the, the nice things is that it is so so cheap. It's um, it's worth taking a look at, especially if you're trying to learn something very specific or just get a sort of general sense of things. The pros and cons. The pros and cons are sort of all over the place. One of the things that I I really do like about Udemy is that well the price. The price. It's just I mean come on, money is money. Money's tight. Udemy is there there for you, right? Um, the some of the teachers for some of the classes uh they are available they they do a fantastic job of getting back to people right away with with feedback or answer questions so it is very much sort of like a boot camp or like a school atmosphere for some of them and it's, it's a fairly large amount too so there are definitely i would definitely take a look at the reviews before purchasing anything and and seeing sort of some of the, some of that feedback and you can get a better sense of it. Um, things can get outdated though, uh, but that's just the nature of it because it's kind of like it's kind of like a YouTube where once you post the video or you post the class, it, I mean, if things change are changing all the time, especially in, in software. So in that sense, sometimes things are a little outdated, but usually you'd see that in the, the comments or the reviews or the teacher will address it directly and they're updating the class with, with replacement videos or replacement uh, portions of the class so in that sense you know it, it's it's a really nice uh, option to choose and it's not monthly subscription right which is nice because everything loves to be a monthly subscription right now uh, which which can get kind of annoying because eventually you just have all these monthly subscriptions and yeah they're all cheap but at a certain point you know are you getting your monthly subscriptions worth out of it uh, I just want to be you know, just pay and be done with it right so Udemy does that where you pay and you've got it for life right you've got access to the tools the resources all that information because um, you paid for it once okay uh, never pay full price for anything on Udemy just don't because the thing is is that there's always going to be a sale within a month or two or three months or whatever there's always a sale teachers individually are always giving out sales in general, the way that marketplace is really geared, it's really geared towards being a cheap option, but making you think that you're getting a really good value because they artificial. Everybody likes to artificially inflate their price to like a hundred or two hundred or three hundred bucks, right, for this class. And in all honesty, though, some of that content really is worth like a hundred bucks, right? Like it really is genuinely something that you consider paying, right? I mean, you definitely think it's it's debatable uh, for paying. So even when it comes down, it's on sale, 10, 20 bucks, it's just because they're trying to push out product. It's worth it though. Pay the 10, 20 bucks. Like, it's, 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 it's a good deal for what you're getting. Once again though, look at the reviews. Not all teachers are equal, right? Not all teachers teach the same. Uh, communication wise, there is definitely a wide range of uh, diverse, uh, diversity. There's a wide range of uh, different Communication wise though, there's a wide, ver di diverse uh, speaking ability and teaching ability. So that's something to consider. 
what I would also suggest doing is they give you like a chance for like a five minute preview. Kind of skim through the videos, see if you, see how you feel about the teacher, his teaching style, and what they're communicating to you. Is it clear? Um, can you understand them? And, and all that is going to be very important because if you're going to pay the money, I mean, even if it's only a small amount, you want to know that you're going to get something out of it, right? So the other thing with Udemy is, once again, it's mainly geared towards those people who are teaching themselves, right? So you are going to be teaching yourself. There's not going to be somebody holding you accountable. There's not anybody who's telling you that you need to do this or whatever the case is. There's no homework assignments. It's access to resources. And at one of those resources is a teacher if you have questions specific to what's going on inside there. So it's, 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 it's worth looking at for sure for that reason. As well as I would think about with Udemy, it's always a good starting place to go to because it has a very wide range on what's available. And it's definitely worth looking at. It's got a very wide range as far as what you could consider, but I would also think about, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's good. It's got a wide range of things you can choose from. It's, it's a very good option to start with, and if you want to do more, you can. I mean, I got a bunch of Udemy videos, and they're, they're all pretty awesome, and it's very easy though, and I will say this, it is very easy to get carried away and be like, oh, well, you know, so as long as I'm here and it's so cheap, I'll also buy this, and ooh, I kind of like this one too. It's very easy to kind of get that mindset, and the thing is, once again, there's sales all the time, so so have some restraint. It, that, that sale will come back. Get what you need and, and get on with the lesson, right? So that's kind of my thought on Udemy on a scale of one to ten for teaching yourself how to code would i recommend udemy yes um i would say it's you know like an eight right an eight or a seven um i would say like an eight i say it's eight it's it's, it's solid especially if what, like what, what you need is on there um not everything you need is on there and sometimes like i said some teachers are better than others so that is something to to definitely think about as uh, another thing too is it's because it's all on your own there isn't a lot of uh, interactivity with it so some other websites like code school or team treehouse have actual quizzes or activities that you can uh, participate with it and it gives you immediate feedback and that very um, tactile back and forth with with the learning experience really helps um, but nonetheless, I think this is definitely something that you should have and consider to be a part of in your repertoire of your education for coding, uh, for teaching yourself. So, and if nothing else, if you are in a boot camp or, or whatever the case is, um, or you're just trying to harness your skills or up, up in the game just a little bit, it's a very good side uh, option. And because there is no subscription service or anything like that when you pay you can come back to it and you can do it at your leisure and not feel that you have to crunch it in before the end of the month um, because your subscription ends or whatever the case is okay so this is chris with codechris.com i hope that was helpful please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching